So I was asked an interesting question today. Should young people who use drugs be punished? Be put to prison for it? Um, and what I mean by young people, anybody under the age of 10, 25, from that range. And the simple answer is no, or put into juvenile detention, in other words, too. Um, I take no. I really don't think that the young people should be put in that. Have that on their record. For, you know, young people make mistakes. And, I, and I, I've said this many times. And, you know, Quinn, uh, the people who we should, and I say this straight away, and I say this to the gangs too, and if they don't like it, they get tough it. Um, these criminal gangs, these drug lords, you know, they should be the people we throw in prison for a long, long time and just let them to walk in prison. Or either throw them into the sea, whichever one suits me, because I wouldn't be too bothered with these thuggish behaviour who, who sell drugs to kids and this, that and the other. Like, it happens. These drug lords don't care. They just care about what the money they get. And they don't care what happens to the young people after that. And they just use young people. They use young people. And I'm telling you, they use them for... Because they don't have... You know, when you're young, you're naive. You you don't have to... You know, you don't take. You really... That's the one thing. You don't take. You kind of go with the flow. That's what young people do. Um, and they use that. They, 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 you know, they use them for that. And, you know... And they get them addicted on drugs. But I think we should... And the way I think it should be... They should, we should get them help. We should get them local support... And they should talk about them. We try and get them off of it. And, you know, another thing like that. And instead of throwing them in prison, they make it ten times worse. Because there's drugs around the prisons and everything. That, that that makes it ten times worse. And I think if we, you know, put them into, you know, rehab and care. You know, it would get better. Because I think it did. Because I know a few people. Uh, when I was in hospital, I was at the hospital. That, you know, unfortunately, you know, their mothers and fathers were, you know, terrible. They really, and I have to say terrible. Because they got them on the drugs and... Got the wrong daughter on the one in case they got the wrong daughter on the drugs, um, because you know they're that high they decide to give the daughter or drugs and. You know it's just a terrible world sometimes you come across and you know you just wonder you just really wonder what life is, um, but you know take the the person I'm talking with you know did she did get it and I, I'm really proud of her I have to say and I'm sure everybody is proud of her, because you know she got help she got care and you know now she's not on drugs or she's not doing anything like that and that's because she, she didn't go to prison she got a second chance you know she got a second chance to rehabilitate herself and she came out great and you know that would have been very bad if she you know was on a criminal record that she you know done. everybody makes mistakes when they're young uh, but it's the, we learn from our mistakes um, but you know I'm say, I say this time and time and again I say this straight to them and I say this straight to the, the local authorities at any guard or anything you know, the people who we should be going after, we should be going after young people that do have drugs and taking them off them. And, you know, whatever after that, put them on community service, maybe for a while. Um, whatever like that, something small like that. But we shouldn't, you know, you know, ruin their reputation for just one small mistake that they made when they were young. Obviously, the lower is the lower. We have to enforce that. But the people who are on the top, the people who are high up, the people who are over everything, who are over all the drug selling and everything, and the drug lords, we should more we should absolutely torture them. And that's what he said we should torture them in the prisons. Because you know what they're doing and we should teach them a lesson. Simple as we should teach these drug lords a lesson and stop being afraid of them. And um, because the state's more afraid of them than they say they are afraid of the state. And you know, it should be the opposite way around this. They should be absolutely fearless. They should the drug lords should be absolutely terrified to see a gout. Um and we should reinforce that and I think we should reinforce it heavily. Um and if we reinforce that I think we should make an example out of them. Of some of them, um, who are drug lords, who are high up people, who are taking their own the gaff. Well, I have news for them; they don't own the gaff. And you know, and I'm just gonna say this to any people who sell drugs to kids, or to teenagers or anything like that. You have a very, very sad life, and I would consider what you're doing, and I would consider you know another life choice. Maybe you might join the council, men. Maybe you might be fit there to do something, um, because then you might get six fifty a week for just standing around doing nothing. But at least you might be doing something. You might drive around the world, but at least you might, you know, think about what you have done. Because, you know, it, you know, you're very sad to be doing that and selling drugs to kids. And I say that straight out to you. You're very, very sad. No matter what situation you're in. And selling drugs to kids to, or to teenagers, you're a very, very sad person. Simple as that. Um, and I think you should be put in prison for a long, long time. And, thrown, and the key should be thrown away. Um, but the young people, I don't think young people should get the blame because people do make mistakes. Back in the thing. Um, like it's just, you know, it's sad to see the gang violence going out of control and young people getting caught up and it's just, you know, what's the world coming to? What's the, like literally what's the world coming to? That, um, 
it has to go like that but anyway thank you for watching subscribe for more and bye